utilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great. Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick land. All collar tie. And they separate. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. And they separate. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. A little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big fall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Switching stances here. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Uppercut lands. Big leg kick lands. If this guy doesn't move his head, his knife is about to end. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one 
that makes the first move. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just a slip there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. Got the single collar tie. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A slip to avoid the right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice. Take down attempt late, and it's good. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, so suddenly he'll change his stance. Watch the strike. Single collar tie now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even, as we saw in round number one. Nice move with punch. Nice one, two there. Way to hide that leg. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, big head kick. Good punch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lands with the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there. And Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Punch over the top. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round.
There's no give on that leg kick. Here is the hook to the head is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's able to slip the left. How good is that right hand? Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Able to check the high kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Right hand on point. Whoa! Oh, strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big left hook there. Inches right there, boy. It was a good night at that landed. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment of this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He loaded up on that right hand too. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, that's the end of round number two. fourth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Nice punch, man. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. And they separate. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Beautiful head kick. All right, single collar tie now. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Back to the jab now, no good. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, huge overhand there. Ooh, big shot land. Went for the inside leg kick. Big kick. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice strike. He blocks the punch. Oh, man, head kick lands. And he caught the kick. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. to go. Lands the right hand. Back and forth we go. Good punch, Lance. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. the leg kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one.
straight punch lands. Head kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plum. Big kick. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up oh, now. Look at the redness there. Oh, nice block there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedown to get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? And they both stand up. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Watch the shot. Powerful leg kick lands. Single collar tie now. Beautiful punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Throwing that jab, no good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, big punch land. Oh, overhand left, no good. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Punch is blocked. Big kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big head kick lands. Big power shot there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Beautiful kick. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back-and-forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. It's much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, single collar tie now. 
Here he is back in the clinch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Sneaky head kick. Big leg kick lands. Great punch. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big head kick land. Visibly limping here. Let those hands go. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real quick leg kick. Some nice back and forth action here. And now he's got that tie clinch. Takedown defense holds up. Nice straight punch. Nice defense on the single. Quick entry to get Man, in on a that single. Was a great single. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice strike to the midsection glances. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. You can't take many of those. You better check. She lands flush with that right hand. You got to check these low leg kicks. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent. Because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Nice punch there. Oh, that head kick landed. Huge block there. Nice kick. Now connects with the right. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice punch, man. Over the top. Fifteen seconds. Goes to the body there. Oh, oh nice job tie there. Takedown. Scramble to his feet. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. how the judges saw it. 
here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the girl. My congratulations to...